Oh, finally I can hear. Um, hello guys and welcome to another video. So I want to talk about these babies. Can you see them? Yeah, I want to talk about these things. Now, if you use this, honestly, if you use this stuff, you will never use this again, ever. I mean, these things are chill. And that's what I want to talk about right now. Today's video is about IEMs. What are IEMs and why you definitely need to get one of these. Let's get started. <coughs> Oh, I'm back. Right, I'm, I'm going to put this behind me for reference. Right, these are in-ear monitors. Now, basically speaking, I don't know if you can see them though, but I'll keep them there first. Now, basically speaking, an IEM is a name that a lot of us are not very conversant with, and it's actually quite fair. Personally, I wasn't conversant with this until like last year or so, when uh, some persons I know who are like, you know, audio files who like listening to music all the time who are you know like big about the you know the type of audio they download you know the, the quality of the audio the amount of kilohertz and all that stuff like they want to get the best and the richest audio you know they've been talking about these things for a while now iems but for me i, I felt like, like you know they're just some type of fancy earphones that you know that people use and that these things will do just fine and <laughs> <laughs> I mean that, that's silly of me honestly I mean I can be that you know like old-fashioned sometimes you know to be sticking to like you know my old ways definitely yeah but IEMs are a lot more than just fancy earphones as I put it and I hold up my hands and I say yeah I goofed seriously so let's get into it right now now what are IEMs and IEM simply means a short for what we call an in-ear monitor now in-ear monitor are earpieces or devices that are used to listen to audio could be music it could be you know making calls but so long as you have to listen to something and you want to listen to it richly that it gets you know, straight into your ears then it's this things for you it's the IEMs it's the in-ear monitors I'm going to put this right here now um, in-ear monitors so what are the origins of in-ear monitors now some forms of in-ear monitors have been around right because uh, there are types of IEMs uh, that have existed for a very long time for people who have hearing deficiencies so they can kind of like you know put it into their ears you know in, in hearing aids right i think those are some type of ims as well so like you know they stick it into the ear all the way basically but i don't think uh they caught on for the general public until musicians found a way to utilize them for stage performance now if you've been to a concert before especially those people who like to fight their way towards the front i never do that <laughs> you find me at the back honestly i can't really get into that mix hell no I'd, I'd be at the back i'd be comfortable so long as i can hear the speakers it's fine but when they're on stage like when, when musicians are on stage and they're singing they can hardly hear themselves because there's speakers here there's speakers there there's speakers in front of them like it's so cacophonous like they can they can't even hear anything and i think lots of musicians who've gone on tours in the past in the 60s and in the 70s usually towards the end of their careers or when they're starting to retire they start complaining about tinnitus or you know some form of hearing loss so over time some smart people designed these things in-ear monitors now they not only help you listen to your music or uh, like when this performance are performing on stage it doesn't always help them it doesn't only help them listen to their music it also protects their ears from the overly large sounds now that's what they are so basically we hear in-ear monitors it's to differentiate them from other types of like listening devices because these ones they send the sound directly to your ears all the way in and it's not just only that you see that this stuff are custom molded i should put this on right now as you can see I, it's custom molded to go in to the shape of the hollow of my ear and i'm going to explain why that is and why you see this going in here is different from this we'll get to that in a minute so i, I hope we're following so far let's get to the next one so now let's move on now what are iems made of and why are they different from like other types of listening devices like earbuds or true wireless earbuds or you know over the ear headphones now uh, let's look at the parts the most important part of every um iem are the drivers i think those are the most important parts the drivers are like super is this thing one second yeah it's actually working you know it happens sometimes <laughs> right so the most important part of like every 
every um, IM are the drivers. Now, this is important because IMs are specialized listening devices. So, therefore, it needs to give specialized listening sound. But I'm going to get into what the drivers are in a few seconds. So, you've got the drivers, you've got the receiver, which contains what is known as a DAC or a digital to audio converter. Then you also got cables, uh, you've got a sound tube and the housing of, you know, like the, the IM itself. But that's, those, those are the most parts. I think you'd find most of these parts on basically every other listening device. So now let's get into why IMs are special. Now IMs are basic listening devices that were originally designed for musicians. So obviously uh, musicians have like, I don't know, there's, there's a way they appreciate music like you know more than the average person so obviously this thing has to be like to, to a higher standard than you know listening devices that are made for the general public now these are where the drivers come in so uh, the, the driver is a speaker device right that is made up of you know uh magnets of you know diaphragms and you know like other stuff that like you know brings out sound basically speaker it's a speaker device right it's a speaker device that's what the driver is that produces sound so when it gets like the audio signal from the digital to audio converter and then it like you know vibrates to produce sound that you know we can appreciate as human beings now there are two types of drivers uh the first one is what you call the balanced amateur driver and the second one are called dynamic drivers so what are these two type of drivers and like what's the difference well a balanced uh, a balanced amateur driver is a type of speaker or a type of uh, driver that is tuned right that is tuned to produce only a certain range of frequencies it could be low tunes boom. it could be mid tunes mm. it could be high tunes uh, I used to be in the choir when I was younger, but I guess basically that's how it is. Low, mid, high. So a balanced amateur driver is tuned to give a specific range. It could be high, it could be mid, it could be low. So basically that's what it is. Now, most of the, why, why this is important to note is that many IMs can come with one or two or even three, sometimes 10 separate like balanced amateur drivers because these things produce specific sound range so if you have unlike like earbuds that you know like it's like general you know that is not really necessarily tuned to a specific frequency that just you know like lots of sound detail will be lost with those like over the ear uh, earphones especially the cheaper ones that we like buying and you know, like earbuds and all that but IMs like have all of these like you know diff so like basically when you're listening to music you have all these different balanced amateur drivers in there that that give dedicated sound right dedicated sound so you hear the sound more richly so uh, benefits of or rather characteristics of a balanced amateur driver is that they are very small so you could pack as many as 10 into where is it yeah right here you could pack as many as 10 into you know like something like this yeah you could pack as many as 10 into something like this because i mean if you want to compare sizes obviously there is really no contest here when you want to compare sizes like this is bigger right than this now let's continue um, balanced amateur drivers or if you were to buy uh, uh, if you were to buy one of these and it says it has balanced amateur drivers it's probably going to be expensive because balanced amateur drivers are quite expensive yeah they are quite expensive but they're also small now they produce richer sounds right like lot of sound detail and sound clarity especially when several of them are used the only down the only downside about them is that they're expensive other than that like they're really good right they're really good but it's not really okay to have them working alone now that's where the dynamic drivers come in now a dynamic driver unlike a balanced amateur driver a dynamic driver is tuned to you know cover the whole frequency range of sound somewhere between 7 to 10 or to 20 uh, uh, megahertz or kilohertz as the case may be all the way up to about 40,000 um, uh, 40,000 uh, kilohertz or so that uh, depends now it's, uh, it's not necessarily specific but like it covers the point is it's not tuned to a specific frequency it covers both low mid and high tunes it covers all of them but it's kind of actually like you know tuned to give out this sound like more specifically like you know audiophilic as opposed to like the way something like this would be tuned something like this like this is this is an original uh, infinix earbuds like the way something like this would be tuned would be different from the way this hold on one second this would be tuned right so like there's a whole there's a whole lot of difference there so balanced amateur drivers uh sorry are different from dynamic drivers because dynamic drivers cover the whole like frequency range of sound why balanced amateur drivers only like specific could be high could be low could be mid right so that if, for that reason like these ones like balanced amateur drivers will be bigger yeah they will be a lot bigger 
and they would produce a lot more bass but they would lack those fine details and sound clarity that uh, a balanced amateur driver offers. So on cheap uh, earbuds like this uh, KZ EDX that I have here, it's clearly written dynamic. It's got one dynamic driver, just one, one dynamic driver in here that powers this. On more expensive, um, on more expensive IEMs, you would get like, you know, maybe one dynamic driver and several balanced amateurs to give you a whole nother level of sound, right? But this, 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 these are entry level uh, cheap uh, IEMs. Now, honestly, like before, before I even get into it, like for me to praise this so much, like these are entry level, it will tell you that like, if these are that good, imagine like what the the high end or how the high ends would sound like so basically that's that's all that there is to it and then i think also another part that needs mentioning are the digital to audio converters these ones are more like tuned as well especially when compared to like those general purpose DAC that are used for like other uh, listening um, appliances so basically these are the components that make up an IEM let's get over to like the next section so now that we know what IEMs are we've defined them we've learned a bit about their history and you know we've talked about their components a bit why should you get one because i have been waxing lyrical about like iems honestly i mean i'm honestly i'm going to tell my, my those those g's like that have been enjoying iems for the longest i'll be like dude you guys just left me the code like seriously this is what you guys have been flexing come on man like no honestly let's let's talk about like the benefits of iems and seriously if you are a music person why you should listen to them now the very first thing you want to note is that the sound goes directly into the ear like the iems go all the way in right unlike you know like buds that just you know like this they stick outside or over the ear phones that just you know like clap over your ears ims go they go directly that's why they have a sound tube anyway they go directly into your ear like they go straight in that's the very first one now the second one is the isolate sound now basically with the way the im is designed like it covers it fits into the hollow of your ear in a very effective way that i don't i don't, I don't really think like like open ear like you know like over the ear headphones have done for me so far and this is not ANC. This is actually not ANC. This is not uh, active noise cancellation. No, this is basically like sound isolation. So when you plug them into your ears, where are they? I have I've got them here. You achieve sound isolation. Now, what do I mean by sound isolation? I have these windows closed. It's raining now, so let me open it. So I am letting ambient sound now from outside come in. Now, I don't know if you can hear it. It's raining outside. I'll give you a minute. yeah now i'm going to close this to see if you like get what i mean by sound isolation tell me if you tell me if you can spot the difference in the comments honestly i want to hear i want to see if you got that right so let's continue now first off i said that the sound goes directly into the ear secondly it achieves sound isolation like when it closes off the ear to other ambient sounds to other background sounds that you know could could happen and then it gives you like you know full concentration on the sound that is getting into your ear and that makes it so, so much you know, rich experience like when you're listening to not just music but you could be on a call like there were times when i had this and i was on a call with someone and i was like i can hear a dog barking and wow there are lots of birds in your neighborhood and the person was like i am getting one of those iams you know <laughs> yeah it happens then there's also better sound fidelity sound detail and a lot of clarity especially when you are listening to the ones that have the bas you know the balanced amateur drivers but even like cheap ones like this one with the dynamic drivers will give you solid listening experience and a lot of boom bass like it's bang for your money it's bang for buck then like you know it's 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 all that like it's all that and more but there are also like some downsides like when you use this like when i have this on right when i have this on and i am in a noisy place when i take them off or when i take them out like sounds hurt my ears right sounds do sounds hurt my ears a lot because like i have been in this vacuum because when i have this on keep it puts you in a bit of a vacuum state where you hear nothing else if you turn off the music you just hear peace and quiet and then you take them out and then the world is so loud you know because i've had this i've had this for a month now right before making this video i've had this for about a month and I really wanted to use them. I went to that when I'm giving. I'm going to make a review on this, by the way. I'm also expecting uh, a Q. These are KZ EDX. I'm expecting uh, Q's QKZ um, AK6 as well. I want to like you know listen, use those for a bit too. And then like the way I'm using these ones right now. And then there's going to be a huge giveaway. I'm going to I'm going to be giving one of them away. Courtesy of Ola J Boy Stores. He's the one that got me this. Like you know he's got me hooked. Seriously, he's giving me a bite. And now I want more. <laughs> so like uh, Ola J Boy Stores. Uh, he's a drop shipper he ships uh he buys goods uh like he basically like gives out goods uh goods especially are uh, not really if you live in nigeria especially i don't know if he ships to other west african countries maybe i'll confirm with him but like you know a lot of stuff that like are only ever available 
on like you know stores like Banggood and uh, AliExpress or say Amazon for example like he is able to like buy them and then like sell them so you don't have to go to the stress of buying it yourself he has a store in Ireland and I think he has his own website I'm going to leave links uh, in the description so like if, if you want one of these or if you're sold on one of these now um, that's I think that's that then also yeah downsides as well since it offers so much richer sound and with your ears blocked if you use them for a very long time you could be damaging your ears because I mean, yeah, honestly, it's, it's actually a nice experience when you're in there, you're bubbling, but yeah, your eardrums could like feel the, the, the whole part of it. And since this one goes directly into your ears as well, it could cause like, you know, ear wax build up and then your ears could get itchy a lot because I, if I put this on my ears for too long, I honestly, I have to scratch my ears out. My ears get really, really itchy and there's a lot of wax build up. So this could cause wax build up that if you really don't clear it out, like, you know, like, Often, you know, wax video could lead to like some sort of like ear infection um, and so on and so forth. So I am going to be doing like a sound test. I'm going to compare, honestly, I'm going to compare these and this, and then um, I'm also going to throw in my TWS into the mix. So let's see the one that has got the better sound. Let's go there. <laughs> And so with that, we've come to the end of this video. I am going to be doing a specific review for this uh, KZ EDX I was holding just now, as well as uh, I'm expecting a, QK, a QKZ AK6. I'm going to be like, you know, doing like a review for each one as well as like two videos. And then I'm going to be having both of them going up against each other in another separate video and so on and so forth. But like, honestly, I wouldn't, I, I'm not the best audiophile out there. I think until recently, I don't even think I would consider myself an audiophile, but I like music and I like, I, I want to like, you know, like hear the music because I love the guitar, even though I am, I am a terrible player, honestly, beyond uh, the basic do, re, mi, fa, and you know, sometimes like holding those, like, kiss me. Yeah, like, you know, that's, I don't know if guitar is for me, but I love music and I love the guitar. And there are some songs I listen to, especially for some of my favorite bands like Coldplay, where you hear the guitar, the, the like, you know, not the bass guitar now, the lead guitar, where you hear the lead guitar actually singing. Like you hear the notes, like the notes come out in a sweet melody. And you know, like I'm in my happy place. So that's that, and that's all there is for um, I N. So if you want to see those videos, uh, please like, subscribe, share. Honestly, please help me out and that's that thank you for coming uh, for this video i guess i'll see you in the next one bye bye